Alright, it's time for another math easy solution. I'm trying to discuss further into integration using tables of integrals. Now I'll go over example two of the example series. And just to quickly uh, just recap the table that I'm using uh, is basically the table of integrals I'm using is found in my calculus book. And, can, and you can view that table by going to the, this URL, tinyurl.com slash integrals mes. So you can download it there, view it online. And this is pretty much the table that you will see. So now this is an example that I'll go over. It basically states, uh, yeah, use the table of integrals to find this integral, which is integral of x squared divided by square root, 5 minus 4x squared dx. So if we look at this, now if we just uh, go scroll through the uh, table of integrals, see what kind. So as you can see, there is over here, so you can see, read these, these are forms involving square root a squared plus u squared. These are basic ones. Then the there's a section here, square root a squared minus u squared, and that's how ours looks like right here. So ours has a, a five minus four x squared, and there's a x squared on top. So that's this one right here. If you look at number 34, there's a u squared, there's a u squared, there's an a squared. So this is the closest looking one to ours. Yeah, so if I copy and paste this right here. So this is the closest formula we have uh, to, that looks like this one. But notice that there's a, well, 4x squared, there's a u squared here. So we could use the substitution right here because this basically equals to, well, 2x squared. That's just the same thing as that. So if we let the substitution let u equals to 2x, just to transform it to look like this formula, what we get now is, well, du is just equal to, well, 2dx. Rearrange this, x equals to u over 2, and dx equals to du over 2. So if we plug this inside, so this becomes uh, basically what we'll get is square root x squared 5 minus 4x squared square root dx I'll write this better like that this equals 2 so now we're replacing everything so there's an x this becomes x squared so that is just well u over 2 squared over well du over 2 that's just dx, and then we have a square root five minus, well, this is just u squared, because that's just two x uh, right, uh, right there, that's two x right there. So it becomes this, and then just uh, simplify this further, this equals two. Yeah, so if we expand this uh, u divided by two, that just becomes u squared, uh, well, times by one over four, this is two squared, this is divided by that. Then we have, uh, obviously, there's a du there, and then there's a divided by 2. So this is, we could multiply this, that becomes 8, or we could erase this, move it over here. So 1 over 8. So that becomes like that. I'll make this um, look nicer. So du here, and then square root 5 minus u squared. And now it looks pretty much exactly like what we have over here. So it's exactly the same formula there. So we plug this in, we get equals two, one over eight in bracket, just type that out, u over, uh, u over two, a squared minus u squared plus a squared over two sine, inverse sine u over a, and there's obviously a plus a constant, but we can just take it out of this and put it here. Because uh, one over eight times a constant is still a constant. So we have all this, and now we can just plug things in. So now we'll put this one minus, where this u becomes two x, so the twos cancel, so it'll just be x over eight. And square root, now what we have right here is an a squared. So the a squared equals to five. So a squared, uh, a squared equals to 5, so what this means is a is equal to square root 5. So a squared, that's just 5 minus now u, which is, um, which u equals to 2x, so square root, so we'll, we'll get back to our 4x squared right there. 
and then plus right here a squared which is just going to be 2 and not 2 a, a squared that's just over here so a is 5 so we have a 5 over 2 times 8 the, we multiply this out so this is 1 over 16 now we have a sine, inverse sine of u, which equals to 2x over a, which equals to square root 5. And then we have a constant c. Yeah, and pretty much this is the final answer right here if I circle this. Yeah, and this is a pretty straightforward way. So you could use uh, tables of integrals. And like I explained in my last video, you could, if you have internet, you could just Google uh, uh, basically either finding tables or or computer algebra systems or just type out this uh, yeah, type out this and you'll, you, you'll get that that answer in the calculus book or find this exact equation you could just google that and you'll find it but this is just a, an old school method of using tables integrals because a lot of times this was used before and also yeah this uh, this saves a lot of time then besides doing this by hand because it just becomes tedious trying to prove every single integral and this is uh, useful to use these tables. Anyway, that's all for today. If you learned and like always you could download these exact notes in the link below and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.